Welcome to Clydesdale on Lions River. Cozy spaces, autumn colors, non-stop rain, hearty food and various drinks were the order of our weekend in the KZN Midlands. We have just arrived here at Clydesdale and there is load shedding. We've seen our room and we're gonna go walk around a bit, check out the lounge area. If you don't know what load shedding is. It's this two hours a day electricity reduction because our electricity plants in this country are under immense pressure. So we're in darkness. <laughs> <laughs> This is the lounge area, there's like a bar here, but it's to bring your own alcohol, you can sit around, there's a fireplace going, TV. <gasps> this is my favorite part. We decided to leave the accommodation while it's still load shedding. We came to this place called Tumbledowns. It's lovely so far. The drive is a little bit hectic because it's a lot of mist, but that's the perfect weather to be in the Midlands. The fireplaces are going. We're gonna have a look at the menu now. The fireplace is keeping this place warm. It's really nice. I ordered the prawn and chicken curry, which in Seoul got the lamb chops with mustard sauce. Our dinner was so, so tasty. This place is really, really nice. It's got such a lovely atmosphere. There's also a bar which we didn't show you yet, but it also looks very cozy. Now it's time to leave. We're gonna drive like really, really slowly. It's dirt roads, most of the way back to our accommodation. We just got back safely from dinner. The drive was actually not too bad. We think we're gonna go sit in the LARPA area by the fire and yeah. play a board game. Settlers of Kitab. Let us know in the comments if you also enjoy this board game. We <laughs> love it. <laughs> And that's how you play Catan. <laughs> the rooms don't have TVs, which is fine with us, but there's this common area where we can hang out. It's raining outside. We can hear it falling on the tin roof. But I think we're gonna go run that bath now. We bought some bubble bath with. I'm gonna put that electric blanket on. Ooh, and there's an electric blanket. <laughs> It's been raining ever since we got back last night from dinner, which is going to make our tour of this beautiful accommodation a bit challenging. Behind me is our room, which obviously is in a little bit of a mess now. So we're going to show you the room next door. These rooms are so big and it just feels so luxurious. A massive very comfortable bed. It's got electric blankets, which was so necessary last night, and we had such a comfortable sleep. You'll also find a really cute coffee station. They left some coffees and cappuccino sticks. On this bench, you'll also find two charging stations, which we really appreciate. The bathroom is so, so, so big. The bath is amazing. If you come here, Bring bubble bath. We haven't seen a shower like this. There's no glass on the sides. Our favorite part about these rooms is obviously the view. There are two chairs just outside of the room. It's got a cover so you can actually sit there and just listen to the rain and look at the beautiful green Midlands view. It seems like there are eight rooms in total. On this stretch, there's four next to each other. And then behind me there's another building with another four rooms. Our accommodation is called Clydesdale on Lines River and it's got an actual river running through the property. We couldn't find it listed on booking.com so we'll put the link to where you can book this place in the description below. The place behind me is called The Trough. This is where we sat last night and played board games. There's a TV, there's a fireplace, there's bras all around. A really cool spot. You can see the river. 
we all a little bit nervous because we're gonna go out so the road to get out of here is a little bit muddy craig's back here would have been so nice but anyway <laughs> we made the first bits which i was the most nervous about I'm absolutely fine <laughs> We have decided to come to a bakery called N Squared, just down the road from where we're staying. So. Somebody at Craig's work told him about this place and thank you so much because I'm in heaven. Look at all these pastries. The Midlands is very outdoorsy. I can imagine how amazing it would be on a sunny day. But it's nice and cozy. We have our coffee and our croissant. nice croissants. Okay. Give it, yeah, cool. It's so delicious. I love my almond croissants. I got a peppermint crisp. Really good. We got a free magnet. It says we got great buns and we cannot lie. The autumn colors are just incredible yeah and we bought some nice cheese buns to take home look at this tree we are at the lions river craft brewery it was about seven k's on dirt road so excited to try something new I've got a tasting tray of a few beers and a cider, and I'm in my happy place. They also have cider. That's actually really good. This is the brewery. It is really nice and cozy inside on a cold day like today. And I'm leaving with two beers, the American Pale Ale and the German Festive Beer. I'm going to keep them for a hot day. Time's hit the road. It's just raining, raining, raining. It has not even stopped. The nice thing about these roads, they are decent gravel roads, which are not very slippery, so you can bring any car here, which is really nice. We're in a little Opel Corsa and it works perfectly. We at the Boma at St. Ives. Luckily there's a fireplace so we decided to stay. We ordered our drinks and food at the bar and our burgers just arrived. Lunch was really good. This is a great place to come for pizzas and burgers. There's an amazing outside section that you can sit at on the little dam here. Obviously in better weather. Now we're gonna go back to our accommodation and just get warm and comfortable. The rain cleared up a little. <laughs> it's our final morning here at Clydesdale. All around the property you'll find some benches to sit on. We've really had an amazing time here. Thank you today for hosting us here at Clydesdale and Lightens River. We did one more walk around. It's time to head out and it's finally actually stopped raining for a little bit and we're off. We're at the trading post, which is one of the closest places to the accommodation that we stayed at. And the rain is back, but we're here for coffee, so let's check it out. We did a quick search and this place actually has a lot of history. It used to be a wooded driven turbine sawmill. These are some of the old original buildings. We're so proud of ourselves for going out in the rain, driving on gravel roads. We just had literally the umbrella, my hoodie. And the GoPro for those <laughs> shots in the rain. We're going to do one more stop. We are at Highgate. We're going to go taste some wine.
This venue is so beautiful. We are sitting here in this tasting room to do wine tasting. Look at the food Some kiwi. Awesome. So the color is medium dark. We decided to buy two bottles to take home. Yeah, and they wrapped really nicely in this white paper. But it's time for us to head home. We had so much fun in the Midlands and guys, it stopped raining. We had a great time exploring a side of the Midlands that we don't normally go to. Out of the six places we went to, four of them are brand new to us. We have some other videos in the Midlands, so we'll link them. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Winner! <laughs> so focusing. But, Oh. It was nice. Um, but yeah. Welcome to Glassdale on Nice Road. Are we doing the night? We're doing the tech one. What do we do?